Good morning children. Today we shall learn about the range of data. The concept of range is used in regular life very often. For example, a person wants to buy an expensive mobile, but he couldn't as the mobile wasn't in his price range. A person was looking for a house to buy. He finds a wonderful house in his price range. What idea do we get from all these? We are familiar with the word range. Now let us understand it. As we saw in the story, a person wanted to buy a house. So he went to a real estate agent. The agent showed him many houses starting from 30 lakhs to the very expensive house of 95 lakhs. Now which house should he buy? Obviously he couldn't buy a house worth 95 lakh as he didn't have that much money. He had saved 45 lakh rupees to buy his dream house. So which houses he could buy? As we saw he arranged the houses in ascending order of price. 30 lakh, 32 lakh, 38 lakh, 40 lakh. After 40 lakh, the next house was 87 lakh, which he couldn't afford. So all the houses whose price lies below 45 lakhs are within his range. And while buying the house, he has to choose amongst these houses only. As you can see, in his price range, the lowest price is 30 lakh and the highest one is 40 lakh. The price starts from 30 and it spreads till 40. All the other prices which the man could afford lies between these values. The spread of data values is called range highest minus lowest so 40 minus 30 which is equal to 10 so the range of data here is 10 thus we can say the range of data is highest value minus the lowest value and this is called the range of data now suppose he had 60 lakhs rupees to buy the house now he could choose all the houses costing within the 60 lakhs like 48 lakh, 50 lakh and even the house worth 55 lakh. He could afford all of these. So if we think what houses could he buy? The lowest price he could find was 30 lakh and now he could afford till 60 lakhs. 60 minus 30 is equal to 30. This is the range of price data. If we say this range on a number line, then the range starts from 30 and extends by 30. We can say this is his price range. So to find the range, what do we do? Highest value minus the lowest value. Another example. When you go to buy a mobile for you, set the price range first. Like less than 4000 rupees mobile doesn't have the required feature. But you cannot afford more than 7500 rupees. So the price range is 7500 minus 4000 which is 3500. The range starts from 4000. You have to choose a mobile within this range, for example, rupees 5000, a rupees 5800 phone with good sound, or a phone of rupees 7000 with great camera, etc. All these are within the range as these prices are in between the starting and the ending of range. But a phone of rupees 10,000 is out of this range. So, you cannot buy it. So in short, the range means spread of data. We just do highest value minus the lowest value to find the range. The cricket bat starts from rupees 350 and the most expensive cricket bat in the shop is rupees 2150. 
So we can say the range of data here is 2150 minus 350 which is equal to 1800. So the range of data is 1800. So remember children, what is the range? The spread of data values is called the range of values. And how do we calculate it? Range of value is equal to the highest value minus the lowest value. That's all for now. Bye bye children.